Okay, so we'll we'll come down to the ground. Oh, I've got a dead foot where I'm sat on my foot. <laughs> okay, come to a comfortable seated position. So we'll just settle in here first of all. So again, have a little bit of height here underneath the hips. You can take half lotus if you want. You can just sit cross-legged. Just find a comfortable place for you to sort of land on your mat, in your space. And first of all, we'll just close our eyes. Just close your eyes. Just take a few breaths here without trying to change the breath at all. Just notice how you are in this moment right now. And as always, when we start to notice the breath, we do naturally start to lengthen it, okay, and, and make it a little bit slower, which is good. So just take a few more moments here. Maybe listening to the sounds around you. I don't know if you can hear the wood pigeon that is making quite a lot of noise. But just be aware that there are sounds around you and sometimes it's quite nice to sort of zone into those sounds just to take you away from the mind. So with that, we don't have to label those sounds. We just notice them allowing us to be aware of where we are in this space. With each inhale, just start to slightly lengthen through the spine so the navel draws in just a little bit. So there's no forcing anything here, relaxing through the shoulders. And tucking the chin slightly, so that doesn't mean that we're bringing the chin to the chest, it just means that the chin comes back slightly. So we've got that length through the spine. How do you feel this evening? Maybe it's been a day, lots going on, as I was just talking a moment ago with a student just talking about how we have these things that we perhaps are having to juggle. So it's really important that we allow ourselves this time, so this hour that you've given yourself now, but sometimes if you don't have that hour, just, just take some time to maybe go somewhere quiet, just close the eyes, even if it's to take 10 breaths. Just noticing how you feel almost like you're pressing that reset button. Relaxing through the shoulders. One more breath here. And then you can keep your eyes closed if you want to, or you can gently open them. I'm just gonna guide you in through um, Ujjayi breath or the victorious breath it's also known as, or the ocean breath, audible breath. So it does carry quite a few names. Um, and I just wanted to just spend a couple of minutes focusing on this. It's a really, it's a really popular breath that is used in a lot of yoga practices, not all, but in most. And it really allows you to marry the breath with the movement, allows you to really calm the body and start to sort of tap into that sympathetic nervous system. So I did mention it the other day, so the Ujjayi breath is about, um, it's all sort of located in the throat, okay? So it is a slight restriction in the throat when we're breathing, but we're gonna go through that in a moment. What I want you to do just for a moment is bring your hands to your ribs. So where you can feel your lower ribs, just place your hands there, allow your shoulders to relax. And I want you to breathe into your ribs. So you're gonna breathe in, and breathe out. And as you breathe in, feel those ribs expand. 
And as you breathe out, noticing how your body starts to come back in towards itself. So we're getting a little bit smaller as we breathe out. Breathing in, we expand. Breathing out. Two more, breathe in. Breathing out. And just relax your hands for a moment. Just keep a nice breath going. Just another visualization is that when you inhale, you can imagine that a parachute is opening up. So you're really opening that breath. And as you exhale, everything is sort of coming up and in. Okay, we have these locks, okay, these banders through the body. We have a root lock. We have this sort of chest lock here. And we have one in our throat. And I'll touch on them another time. But I want you to imagine that when you're exhaling, really imagine that you're exhaling down into your pelvis, okay, into that pelvic floor, and you're bringing it in and up, okay? So it's quite weird when you think about exhaling, bringing it in and up, but that's the sort of feeling I want you to try and sort of imagine, see if you can feel it in your body. So you can either bring your hands to your ribs again if you want to, or just relax them onto your um, thighs. Close your eyes again, breathe in through your nose, Breathe out. As you breathe out, there's that up and in. Pulling in from the pelvic floor all the way up. Breathe in. Expanding that parachute. Breathing out. And that up and in. One more. Breathe in. Breathing out. Okay, slowly open your eyes. So we're just gonna move on slightly and then we'll get into some movements. So use your eye breath. We're gonna practice this. We're gonna breathe in through the nose, keeping that visualization of the parachute and exhaling and breathing in. We're gonna breathe in through the nose and as we breathe out, I want you to create a sound. Like if you were to whisper or fog up the glass or a mirror with your breath. So you're gonna breathe in through your nose, and breathe out. Two more, breathe in. Breathing out. Breathe in again. Breathing out. We're gonna do that three more times. This time, halfway through that breath out, we're gonna close our mouth, but continue that sound with our mouth closed. So breathing in, breathing out, breathe in, breathe out, close the mouth. One more, breathe in, breathing out. and just relax. Come back to your natural breath. Breathing in and breathing out. So that out breath you might have heard starts to become a bit more audible, okay? That victorious breath. You start to feel it here in the throat. We only focused on the exhale then, and that's fine. You can start to see whether you can bring it in through the throat as well. Sounds a little bit strange, but as we start to move, just see if you can focus on that sound. If you can't quite get it with the mouth closed, just do it with the mouth open for now. And as you start to practice that a bit more, you'll see that it just starts to flow with the breath. Okay. So from here, we're just gonna come round onto our knees. So coming onto the knees, just arrive here first of all, just placing the hands. We are gonna come into our cat and cow pose, okay? You can get a little bit of movement in through the hips. First, just notice how you feel here. Maybe you can close your eyes, okay? So maybe you have people in the room with you, maybe you don't, but that's fine. What I mean by that is really find that breath. Maybe close your eyes as you breathe in, dropping the tummy down, gaze comes forward. Breathing out that Ujjayi breath. 
Head curls in, coming into our cat pose, really pushing up through the hands into the spine. Breathing in through the nose. Coming into our cow, breathing out. That victorious breath. Three more, breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in, keep that breath going. Breathing out. Let's do one more here. Breathing in. Breathing out, chin comes in towards the chest, really rounding through the back. And then breathing in, coming back to our neutral position. Again, we're just going to bump the hips to the right here. Navel draws in, so we're keeping that awareness through the spine, through the core. And then from here, um, sorry, hips bump to the right. You're going to turn your gaze round towards the left, so over the left shoulder. Making sure that you're pushing away from the floor, but not causing any tension. We're moving slow this evening. Coming back through centre. Inhale into our cow, uh, cow pose here. Exhale into our cat. Inhale back to centre, navel draws in, bump the hips to the left, gazing round towards the right shoulder, maybe back towards the back of your mat. Navel draws in, take a breath here. Inhale, coming back through centre. Get a little bit of movement if you need to come onto your fists for a moment or you need to circle the wrists. Just take what you need here. And then from here, keeping the right knee on the floor, you're going to bring your left foot behind your right foot, and it's going to clump. So you've got your legs in line, okay? So your right foot is coming down onto the floor in line, um, left foot is coming down on the floor in line with your right, and just allow the sole of that left foot to touch the ground, okay? So you've you're starting to create this line. This is a bit of a balance, but it's also coming into a modified side plank. So from here, rooting down through that right hand, your right knee and right foot is on the floor and your left foot is rooted. You're gonna inhale, just take that left arm up, take that breath. Tap into that Ujjayi breath, breathing out. Maybe this left hand comes back a little bit more, really. Opening up through the chest, take another breath here. Exhale, bringing left hand down and left knee comes back to where it is, where it was. <laughs> Shifting the hips back, coming back into the modified child's pose, keeping the hands forward, head in between the upper arms. Take a breath. Feel that breath in your lower back, all the way up into the upper back. Navel draws down as we breathe out. Breathe in, coming back up. Left hand is rooted. Right foot now is going to come in line with that left leg. You're going to then roll at the right foot so you can bring the sole of that foot to the floor. So find your balance here first. Push away, navel draws in. Anchor down through everything on the left side of the body and that right foot. Inhale, take that right arm up. Imagine that you're trying to get your hips forward slightly towards that side of the mat. Maybe you bring your right hand back, opening up through the chest. Take another breath here. Try and find some softness. So this can be quite strong, trying to hold this balance, this side plank. To find some ease here. Exhale, slowly bring your right hand down, right knee back underneath. Curl the toes under here. Inhale, look forward, slight curve in the spine. Exhale, rounding through, chin comes in towards your chest. Hover the knees off the ground. So we're not coming up to downward dog yet, just got the knees. Just about an inch, maybe two off the floor. Take another breath here. Bit of yoga for the toes. 
Exhale, lower the knees down. Inhale into our cow pose. Exhale, rounding through. Chin comes in towards the chest. Hold for those knees again. Just keeping them an inch or two off the floor. Exhale, lower the knees down. Inhale, roll through the spine into our cow pose. Exhale, chin comes in towards the chest, really rolling through that spine. Feel that movement as you then inhale, hover the knees off the floor. Maybe they come a little bit high this time. Maybe you shift the hips back towards the heels. So you're really starting to stretch through the upper body. Inhale, lift those hips high. Exhale, downward dog. Come into this downward dog with a little bit of softness, some ease in the body. Maybe walk your hands wider towards the outside of your mat. Maybe your feet come wider and just settle in here. You can bring the soles of your feet to the floor, your heels, maybe you keep the knees bent. Just get some movement here, stretching through the left and right side of the body. Find that Ujjayi breath, tap into it again. And then exhale, lowering down. You can keep your knees wherever they work, it's fine, even if you're wide here. Inhale into our cow. We're going to come back into downward dog again. We are going to do this three more times after this one. So find something new here. Exhale, chin comes in towards the chest. Inhale, lift those hips. Keep the knees quite low. The hips are still lowish, okay, and then haven't come up yet. On your next inhale, lift those hips. Exhale, maybe grounding down through those heels. Again, you can pedal the feet, get some movement as much as you want here. Taking a wide dog. Maybe some movement in the neck. Exhale, lower the knees down. Inhale into our cow. Exhale, rounding through. Peel yourself back up, hips high. Exhale, arrive in your dog. You decide what works here for you today. So you can take it with the feet together, you can take it wide. Exhale, lower the knees. Inhale into our cow. Exhale, rounding through the spine. Push away, back into our dog pose. Take a breath. If you're in a wide dog, just bring your feet a little bit closer together. They can still be hip width apart. Bending the knees. Exhale, slowly keeping those knees bent, you're going to walk your hands all the way back to your feet, coming into a forward fold at the back of your mat. So allow yourself to have as much softness as you need here. So don't feel like the legs have to be straight, you really want to bend the knees, then do, maybe the feet even come wide here. Maybe they're as wide as your mat in this forward fold. And just start to get a little bit of a sway here. It's almost like you're drawing like a semicircle with your hands on the floor. Just going left to right, inviting the whole body in so you can start to get some movement with the shoulders. Find that breath. Great time here to invite the Ujjayi breath, breathing in, breathing out, and then come to stillness. Allow the head to be heavy, allow the shoulders to be heavy, maybe even bring the arm, the hand to the opposite elbow, just allows the weight of the shoulders to drop down here. Sometimes when you've got your hands on the floor, you start to sort of push through those hands. So bringing the hands to the opposite elbow just allows you to soften. Take a breath. 
Exhale, release the hands. Just walk the toes in, so or the feet in, so they're hip width apart. Really bend your knees here. Tuck your chin into your chest. Start to roll up all the way up into our mountain pose. Just arrive here for a moment. You can roll those shoulders. Notice how the body feels. Just get any movement you need. And then you can stay at the back of your mat or come to the front or the middle. It's entirely up to you. So we're just going to keep the feet hip width apart here. Just going to do a little bit of movement with the arms just to slowly open up through the body and really tap into that breath. Okay, so this focus through the body. Rooting down through the feet. Inhale, hands come left to right. Take them all the way up above your head. Exhale, the hands come down by your side and then around behind you. Interlace the hands. Inhale, roll the shoulders back. Open up through your chest. Exhale, release the hands. Again, inhale, take the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands come down by your side. As they arrive, bring them round behind the back, interlace. Inhale, open up. Exhale, release. One more here. Inhale, hands come left to right. Maybe you gaze up towards the hands now. Exhale, hands come down by your side. Bring them behind you. Interlace, pull the hands away from you, down towards the ground, roll the shoulders back, and then just start to lift through the arms slightly. Navel draws in. Soft knees here, inhale. Exhale, as we start to fold forward, bend those knees, gazing down towards the floor, coming into a forward fold, lifting the arms up above the head. So for me this evening, I'm allowing the hands to have space. You can bring palms together, but I'm squaring the wrists off, just allowing there to be space in my shoulders. Coming down into this forward fold. Breathe into the belly. Breathing out. One more breath here. Breathe in. Breathe out, release the hands without catapulting them. Okay, so just allow them to come down to the floor. Inhale, find your half lift. Exhale, folding back down, bend the knees. Inhale, take the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Lovely. Wherever you are, Come to the top of your mat if you're not there already. Settle in. Find that breath. Maybe even wiggle the toes, lift the toes so you can find the toe mounds, that root, and then replace the toes. Inhale, take the arms up. This time, exhale, folding forward, soften through the knees, soften through the body. So we're moving really slow and mindful this evening. Inhale, take the half lift, your choice. Exhale, fold and back down. From here, hands come to the floor. You're going to step your left foot back, lowering the left knee down. Come onto the top of that left foot. Inhale, open up, hands come left to right, reaching all the way up above you. Exhale, hands come down, interlace behind your back. Inhale, open up through your chest. Exhale, release the hands, bring them down to frame the foot. From here, you're going to shift your hips back, lifting the right toes towards your face, stretching through the back of this right leg. Exhale, folding over. So just take as much as you want here. Don't feel like you have to have this right leg straight. It can be bent as you're folding over. Awareness through this right foot. 
So you decide what you need. And then exhale, planting that foot. Bringing the hands down, inhale, lifting that left leg. Exhale, walking yourself all the way around into a wide-legged fold. So there's lots of folds today, lots of opportunity to calm the mind, to tap into that sympathetic nervous system, get some movement in the head. Bringing the hands to the waist. Soft knees, inhale, roll yourself up, so pushing through the feet, coming all the way up to standing. Just check how you feel in your legs. You feel like you're really pushing away with the legs, maybe just shorten the stance just a little bit. Inhale, take the arms. Ujjayi breath, reaching them all the way up. Exhale, hands come down, interlace the hands behind you. you might Pick up on this theme here now. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale. Exhale. Lead with your heart. Soft knees coming all the way forward. Reaching the arms maybe above the head or they can be rested on your sacrum, on your tailbone. Entirely up to you. Maybe you really start to just get a stretch into the shoulders. You can have soft knees here so you can bend the knees. Don't feel like you have to come all the way down. Take a breath. Exhale, release the hands. Hands come down to the floor. Inhale, lifting up to halfway again. Turn your right toes out. Walk yourself back to the front of your mat, back to that right foot. From here, this right foot is staying where it is. You're going to bring this left foot in slightly, okay? And then we're coming into a modified half moon. So normally half moon would be in this position, okay? But this evening, we're gonna keep that left foot on the ground unless um, you practice yoga and you want to take half moon, then do. From here, keeping the left foot on the ground. I've got the toes pointing off the mat. My right hand is down on the outside of my right foot next to the pinky toes, so take up space here. You're going to inhale, just start to reach that left arm up. So you can see everything, my right knee is bent, my left leg is straight, but we're just working here. If this is too much, you can bring your hand to your shin, or you can even rest your right arm on top of that right knee, so you can be here. So just take a moment in this half moon, full breath, get some movement in the neck, Exhale, bringing the left hand down. From here, this left foot can stay where it is. You're going to straighten through your right foot, uh, right leg, sorry. Inhale, half lift. Maybe you're here on the shin. Exhale, folding over that right leg, coming into a pyramid pose, a variation of pyramid. So again, don't feel like you have to lock this right leg. You can have a slight bend here. Relaxing through the neck, relaxing through the shoulder. Inhale, coming up, bend into this front knee, keeping the left hand where it is now, bringing the left foot, uh, left heel off the ground, and then just open up to the right side. So my right leg is still bent, my heel is lifted on this left leg, my left hand is on the floor, maybe on fingertips, maybe on the palm, and just reach up with the right hand. Exhale, bring the right hand down. Step that left foot back just a little bit more, coming into our low lunge again. Lower left knee down, sending the right knee back to meet the left, planting the palms, Inhale into our cow pose, tuck those toes under. Exhale, lift the hips, coming into downward facing dog. Take a breath. Breathing deep into the body. Notice how you feel here. Bend the knees, look forward towards the front and make your way 
up to the front of the mat. You can take a few steps, maybe you come up to standing and then arrive in a forward fold. Again, soften here. Find that ocean breath. So catch a wave with the breath. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, hands come left to right. Soft knees, rooting through the feet. Open the arms up towards the ceiling. Maybe this time the palms face up and you lean back slightly. So the hands are away from each other. Exhale, hands to heart. A little bit of movement in through the neck through the shoulders. Again, anchoring down through the feet, soft knees, inhale, reach your arms up left to right. Take that leg, take that breath. Exhale, folding down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, stepping that right foot back. Coming here into our um, half splits. So from here you can stay on, to the, on the toes of that right foot or bring in the, right, the top of the right foot to the floor, entirely up to you. You're gonna inhale, open up through the chest, then start to come back as you start to lift the left toes towards the face. Forward fold here, take a stretch. Notice how this feels on this side of the body. And then on an exhale, you're going to roll that foot back down, planting the hands, lifting that back knee, and then again, coming round to the side of your mat. So I'm just going to switch. So coming round to the side of your mat, take a breath here. Forward fold. Anchor down through the feet, hands come to the hips. Really give those hips a little bit of a squeeze, soft knees, inhale, roll yourself all the way up to standing. Shorten your stance if you need to. Open up through the shoulders. From here, we're gonna inhale the hands out into a star shape, so coming into star pose. Bring your um, fingers in towards your palms and your thumbs are out. It's like you're just doing a thumbs up. Take a full breath here, breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. One more, breathing in, maybe lean back just slightly. Breathing out, lovely. From here, hands come to the hips. Just turn your left toes towards the front of your mat. And then from here, you're gonna pivot this back foot round. So just bring it in slightly, toes off slightly, keeping a bend into this front knee. We're gonna come into our half moon on this side. So coming down to the ground, leaning forward, left hand comes down to the outside of that left foot. So just arrive here, just see whether you can, if this is too much for you, then just be here, just come onto the knee. Just feel what's happening in the body. And then imagine that you're almost like pulling something up from the ground with that inhale. You're gonna reach, take that arm all the way up, coming into our half moon on this side. If it's too much looking up towards the hand, then just look out towards the side. Take a full breath. Notice how you feel here. On your next exhale, release your right hand down to the floor. From here, you're gonna inhale straight and through that front leg. Exhale, come into your pyramid pose. So just folding over that leg. Legs are strong. Again, you can have a soft bend in that left knee. Maybe you play with just starting to straighten it a little bit. You can even lift the toes of that left foot, finding that root through the sole of the foot there. Find the breath. Breathing in. 
So the aim is that we're folding over this leg. Maybe your nose comes a little bit closer towards your knee. It's just that awareness, that tension there. Don't feel like it has to go anywhere close. It's just the intention that counts. From here, bend into that front knee. You're now going to keep the right hand planted and then you're going to inhale, reach the left arm up. So just like we did on the, on the other side, apart from this time we're coming into a twist. So this is like a closed twist. We're not open through the tummy, but we start to open through the chest, just giving the digestive organs just a little bit of a rinse. Take another breath here, strong. Again, you can be up on here, maybe you're on your hips, maybe you've got a block or a book to rest your hands on. Just take another breath. Exhale, left hand comes down to the floor. Step that right foot back a little bit, and then you're going to step your left foot back, coming into our downward dog. Take a breath. Maybe moving the head just a little bit. Get some movement, some soft knees. Hips are high. You're really pushing back with the arms, with the legs. Awareness through the pad of that index finger, so that fleshy part, just behind the knuckle of the index finger and the thumb, really finding awareness there. Exhale, lower the knees down to the ground. Chin, chest, knees, lower. Inhale into our cobra. Maybe just get a little bit of movement here. Maybe even come up to upward facing dog. Exhale, rounding through the spine, pushing back. Big toes come to touch, knees come wide. Settle back into an extended child's pose. Then you arrive here, just find a way for softness. So allow your arms to come back a little bit closer towards the head. Elbows start to go left to right to have that space in the shoulders. So you can be on your forehead here. You can have your head resting on one side. It's entirely up to you. How do you feel? So that Ujjayi breath is a really lovely breath to learn, to practice. And the more you practice it, the more length you will add to your breathing. Your exhale particularly can become a lot longer. Really calming the mind and the whole of the body. Take one more breath here. Inhale, coming up. Reaching your hands forward and then walking your hands all the way over towards the right side. Reaching with that left hand so you're stretching all the way through the left side of your body, shifting the hips. So your hips are still sunk down towards your heels, but you're pushing your hips towards the left heel, really stretching through that left side of the body. So if you've been on the computer a lot, doing lots of work with your arms, maybe some gardening, this stretch can feel really intense, especially when you start to shift the hips towards the left leg. It's that left hand that's rooted, take another breath, Exhale, coming back through centre, reaching with your hands, take a breath and as you exhale start to walk your hands towards the left side, again reach with that right hand, really reach like you're trying to grab something, send the hips towards the right heel, so you're really trying to plug that right hip in and then bringing your head in between the space of the upper arms, breathe here. Send that breath to the right side of your body. 
You'll notice as you're in this position that the breath is in the right side of your body anyway. When you breathe, you'll really notice it in that side. Exhale, coming back through center. Inhale, coming up onto all fours. And then we're going to come round onto our bottoms, coming back to a comfortable seat. So from here, just settle in for a moment. We're going to come onto our backs in a moment. Close your eyes. Pause, how do you feel? So if that Ujjayi breath has been, I was going to say troublesome, okay, sometimes we focus on it and we don't feel like we're doing it properly or just breathe. As long as you're breathing, okay, as long as it doesn't feel like it's hard to breathe, like you're causing any restriction in the body, then it's fine. But it is something that you can practice maybe just doing five rounds of Ujjayi breath each morning when you wake up or before you go to bed. Just notice how you feel and see whether you can just start to practice it a bit more so it ends up becoming a bit second nature when you come to the practice. But we will do some more on this. Take one more breath. Lovely. From here, keeping your left leg where it is, your right, um, your right foot is going to come behind you, so you're sort of in this position. So my knees are bent, okay? Um, you can have some space here. If this isn't comfortable, you can put a cushion underneath your right bottom. So we're just sitting here. In this position, allow your body to settle in. We are going to come to a twist here. This just really starts to stretch into this right hip. So if you don't sit like this, which we often don't, you'll see children sit like this all the time, um, it can sort of feel a little bit uncomfortable. So use your support. If you've got a blanket, use it there as a support. Your right hand's going to come over to your left knee, left hand behind you, inhale, open up through your chest. Navel draws in. Feel this stretch in that right hip. Taking a breath. In children's yoga, sometimes we'll call this a mermaid pose or a variation of mermaid pose. So you can always imagine that you're sat on a rock, a beautiful sun beating down with your big mermaid tail and your luscious hair. <laughs> Take another breath. Coming back through center. And we're just gonna switch. So we're just stretching out these hips. So bringing the right foot in front of you, lean to the right side, so bringing your right hand down, and just allow that left knee to come into this position. Okay, so we're bending into that left knee, and the left foot's coming behind. If this really isn't comfortable, just come into a comfortable seat and do a seated twist. So from here, again, find that center. So quite often we'll lean over, just bring yourself back to center. Roll those shoulders back. Notice what's going on in this hip. Breathe into that hip. Right hand comes behind you. Left hand comes over to the right knee. Roll the shoulders back on an inhale. And just start to bring your gaze towards the right side on an exhale. Again, you're rooted here. You're in this seat. How does that feel in that left hip? Awareness through the toes. Navel draws in. Exhale. 
coming back through centre. Bringing both feet out in front of you now, just briefly. And this time, instead of having the legs out straight, just have a slight bend in the knees. Heels are on the floor, okay? So the heels are down, they are rooted. Inhale, take this breath all the way up. Feel that length into the body. Reach the hands up, maybe they trace behind the ears as you reach the hands all the way up above your head. Bring the hands back slightly, inhale. Exhale, folding over your legs. If you want to, you can really bend your legs here so that you can bring your chest onto your legs and just soften here. It's entirely up to you. We're gonna take three breaths. Breathing into the back of the body. Feel your tummy press against your thighs as you breathe in. As you expand, exhale, everything draws in. One more breath here, breathe in. Breathing out. Slowly rolling yourself up. Bringing yourself to the centre of your mat if you're not already, feet out in front. From here, just planting the feet, knees are bent. I have um, about a foot distance in between, like a foot, my foot, distance in between the feet. Roll the shoulders back here, just bring your hands to the back of your thighs. On an exhale, lift the toes and just slowly roll yourself all the way down until you're about to touch the floor and feel your core ignite. Your hands can be on your thighs. Take a full breath. Try and not cause any restriction in the neck. So open up through the shoulders. Exhale, release all the way down. As you arrive, Feel your shoulders arrive on the floor. Feel your back arrive. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Give them a nice big hug. You can rock the knees from left to right. Giving your lower back a massage. Your sacrum. Your top of your glutes. You can even start to take some circles here. And then slowly bringing your feet to the ground. Feet come down to the floor. You're going to bring your left ankle across your left knee. Uh, right ankle, sorry, across your left knee. Bring your left foot towards your bottom a little bit more. So just walk that left foot back. Allow that right knee to just open out here. Maybe you stay here, okay? Maybe you're enjoying that stretch into the right hip. Maybe you bring your hands down towards the floor, palms face down. Find that awareness in that left foot. On an inhale, we're going to start to lift the hips, coming into a one-legged bridge. So you may start to feel a little bit of a shake, okay? It's quite, it can be quite tricky to keep a balance here, or sometimes the legs will wobble. You don't have to come high, flexing through toes of that right leg and allow that right knee just to fall out. Exhale, lowering the hips back down and then allow your arms to come up at shoulder height and just roll your knees over towards the left side. Your right foot will come down as well so we've still got our legs crossed. If you want to uncross them do, coming into our spinal twist. Gazing in towards the right hand, feel that stretch. Again, maybe you can feel it all the way into this right hip. Take a breath here. If it's too much in that hip, too much in the knee, uncross the legs and be in this position. Take another breath. Inhale, 
bringing yourself all the way back. You can uncross the legs first and then coming back to center. Get yourself situated on your mat again. And then left ankle over the right knee. So if this is too much, you can just come into a regular bridge, okay? Or maybe you just keep stretching here. You can always bring this right knee in towards the chest, coming into our reclined pigeon pose. It's entirely up to you. If you want to try what we did before, our one-legged bridge, bringing the hands down to rest by your thighs, rooting down through that foot, through that right foot, flexing through the toes of the left foot, Everything has that awareness. Inhale, rolling through the spine. Start to lift the hips. Chest to chin. Okay, it's very different to chin to chest. So chest, chin, open up through the spine. Maybe you can lift even higher. You decide. So you won't come as high as you normally do here. Breathing into the body, breathing into the belly, into those glutes. Exhale, release the hips down. Your right foot or your knees are now going to fall, uh, your left foot, sorry, your knees are going to fall towards the right side. Allow them to arrive here and then adjust as you need to. Your arms can be just gently on your body, maybe at the shoulder height. And just allow that twist into the side. If you need more space, send that right leg out further and breathe. How does this feel? Amazing from my calf injury back in February, how my right side of my body feels very different. My right hip, my right thigh, everything. It's amazing how you can injure a certain area of your body, but how it the rest of your body reacts to it. That's something I've been working on lately, just trying to ease the right side. This left side feels so much more relaxed. Take another breath here. I'm going to slowly make our way back to center. Uncross the legs here. From here, just bring the knees back in towards your chest. Hug those knees in. So you have a choice. You can come into a happy baby pose. Okay, so that, that arms come on the inside of the legs. You bend the knees and you bring your hands on the outside of the legs. Okay, you can come into a stirrup posture which is the hands on the inner arch, okay? So you flip the hands so that the thumbs are down in this pose and the hands come on the inner arch into our stirrup posture. And you can gently rock side to side. Just notice how this is. Notice how your back feels. Carefully, you're not lifting up through that tailbone that you're still rooting down through that lower back, trying to ease face, the jaw, making sure you're not really lifting through the throat, so tucking that chin slightly, lengthening through the spine. Close your eyes. Take three breaths. Releasing one hand, releasing the other, bringing the hands to the outside of the legs. Again, just giving the legs a little bit of a squeeze and then sending the feet down towards the floor. You can rock the legs from side to side if you need a bit more of a stretch here. And then eventually coming into our Shavasana. So your legs can be as wide as your mat, maybe even wider, you can take those arms wider. If you have a blanket, either use it as a cushion for your head, or maybe you even cover yourself up, make yourself nice and warm. 
just get settled in. So whatever you need to do here, if you need a sip of water, whatever you need just to arrive. So I quite often say take up space, but if you feel that this is not where you want to be positioned, then come into a comfortable position. arrive here. So this is where we allow that Ujjayi breath to go. Okay, we come back to just our natural breath. This moment where we lie here and we're not having to concentrate on anything. I have to really focus on retaining the breath or using the Ujjayi breath. Just your natural breathing. Sure, bring your awareness to your breath. That keeps you in this moment. So just allow the body to come really heavy, to become almost like it's glued to the floor. Okay, feel that connection with the back of your body. And then imagine, the best way I can say it is imagine that the front of your body is sinking down. It's almost like it's melting into the back of your body. Everything is heavy. Quite often we'll be anticipating the end of the session or getting ready to get up. So our front body is active. We want our front body to deactivate here, to so just relax. And this evening I just want to bring your awareness to your face, to your head. So with the rest of the body relaxed, we're going to come to the head, to the face, and notice, are you holding? Are you gripping through the eyes? Can you soften the eyes? Allowing the eyes to become heavier, Sinking back in towards the head. Allowing there to be space in the jaw by gently parting the lips. Noticing the forehead. We hold so much tension in our face, in our forehead, in our jaw, without even realising. Just allow that forehead to really soften, like it's spreading left to right. The skin of the face. Maybe you can feel the temperature, the air on your face. Going round to the temples and the ears. Can you soften here? Coming to the skin the head where the hairline is, where the hair grows. You might even feel a little bit fuzzy here as you start to really notice this place on your head. Can you soften? Can you find ease here? Your head becomes so heavy. The 
And if you were to try and lift it off the floor, it would be almost impossible. And you're going to take five nourishing breaths. Coming back to your surroundings, to your space. Before you move anything, just notice your body. Does it feel heavy, that, that glued effect? Start to wiggle your fingertips first. And then keeping the shoulders, the upper arms on the floor, just lift your lower arms slowly. They might feel so heavy now. The hands might feel really heavy. Just start to circle the hands, wiggle the fingertips. And then replace the hands back on the floor. You can move the shoulders around if you want to. And then the same with the feet. Just start to wiggle the feet, wiggle the toes, and then get some movement. You can bend with one leg. Again, maybe it feels so heavy to move. Maybe bending both knees. Maybe from here, take those arms all the way up above the head. Take a stretch. You can keep the eyes closed if you want to, as you slowly roll over onto one side. And then gently bringing yourself back up into a comfortable seat. Bringing the hands to gently rest on the knees. Breathing in. Breathing out, hands come to your heart, to always have kind and loving intentions, to your mouth for kind and loving words, and to your third eye, for kind and loving thoughts, to yourself, to those around you, and the rest of the world. Enjoy the rest of your evening. From me to you, namaste.